and welcome to another episode of Industry Celebrities. My name is Kimberly Scott. Industry Celebrities is a podcast where I interview industry professionals in any industry, folks, any industry, and I ask them questions about their industry or their passions. Plus, my guests will share a little advice to their younger selves. If you want to tune into other episodes, you can do so by going to thatkimberly.com forward slash convo to choose which platform you'd like to listen to, Google, YouTube, and now Amazon Alexa. Yay! So now that I got that out of the way, I want to welcome my guest today, Miss Stephanie Ayler. Hello, Stephanie. Hello. (laughs) Woohoo. Hi, Kimberly. Hi. Thank you for joining me. Please tell the listeners a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and what industry you're in. Well, thank you so much for having me on today. I am a woohoo girl, as you could tell. (laughs) I am that girl. And I have been in the multifamily rental housing industry for 20 years. So multifamily apartments. Apartments, exactly. Like where people live, where people raise their families. It's, it's been an incredible journey. My career has taken me from a, you know, leasing sales rep at the property to, you know, the supplier side. I ran my own thing for a little while and I'm so excited because I get to speak in the industry and talk to folks. And now I'm working for an amazing software company called Leonardo 24 seven. So it's been a great journey. It is like, it's been a great journey. And I am so appreciative of all of my, you know, friends and family that I consider family in the industry. We are a multifamily. Yes, we are. (laughs) How did you get your start in the apartment biz? So after I graduated from college, I was sort of lost. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's other folks out there who can relate to that feeling of what am I going to do? I graduated with a marketing degree and me too. Well, you did. <laughs> My transcripts are still sealed. Nobody's ever asked to see it, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> we have it. It's, yes. It exists. Yes, absolutely. So, so I was in this, like, what am I going to do? What, you know, how does this translate to like a real productive world? Yeah. And I stumbled upon a job called marketing representative. Mm -hmm. And that job is a leasing consultant job, a leasing rep job. Marketing representative, that's funny. Marketing representative, yeah. So I went to the interview and it was at an apartment community clubhouse and the office overlooked the pool and there was a tennis court and they're like, you're going to get to lease these beautiful apartments. And I'm thinking, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, where do I (laughs) sign up? Like, please hire me. <laughs> like, like, bring me on right now because yeah. I'd never, I'd never seen anything like this apartment community in my life. Like, it was just gorgeous, and I was so green and so naive. Yeah, we <laughs> all I were. really, yeah. I really thought it would, I thought it would be easy because it was so beautiful. So I had, like, I guess that first thing you need, which is yeah. that belief. You, ha- I had that. Then I had to learn the skills, which, mm-hmm. thank goodness. I mean, I've been in the industry twenty years. Clearly, at some point, I learned them. <laughs> Through osmosis or being rubbed off by mentors great, and leaders, yeah. Yes, great leaders, great mentors. The particular company I started with, they had their academy. Ooh, and fancy. Yes, their academy trainers would come out or we'd fly out and, you know, meet as a group and, you know, they were amazing. And I truly think to this day, I stayed invested in the industry because of that support from corporate as well as that great training and, you know, just great management overall. Mm -hmm. So it's been good. (laughs) So you can't complain, which most people who've been in in an industry for as long as you have 20 plus years, definitely you stick to it because you enjoy it and you love what you do. And that's a great segue into me asking you, what do you enjoy the most about what you do? Oh, that's such a great segue into that. So (laughs) over the course of time, what I've loved is just the opportunity to, on the work side, like working with my coworkers and my peers is helping them be more successful. All of us elevating each other, you know, Mm -hmm. and, and working together to a common collective goal. And that goal is on our client side, which is in the apartment industry, our clients are the residents, right? So, Mm -hmm. you know, helping them find the right home 
that works for them. Again, they're going to, like I said before, they're raising their children there. They're, you know, living their life. They're getting new jobs. They're getting married. And, you know, sometimes they're getting divorced and all those other things yeah. in life too. And so now as a supplier, you know, for the last gosh, dozen or so years or whatever, it's been that I've been on the supplier side. I work with my customers to help their customers, you know, be better taken care of, whatever that looks like in my world. Now it's called performance management software. So, you know, <laughs> so that's what we do as suppliers to the industry too, is like, we're, we're really ultimately helping our customers, our clients take care of their customers mm -hmm. in whatever fashion that looks like. So it's a true partner. And yes. Not, not a vendor, but a supplier partner or true. Yes. Partner is definitely yes. I still say vendor. I still say <laughs> vendor. It's not a bad word. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I know. I know. Kimberly's like, don't say that V word. <laughs> they know the V word. <laughs> yeah. That's a whole other podcast for another day. <laughs> <laughs> fair. Fair. Yes. We can do that one. <laughs> I would be happy to do that one with you. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> you could be the protagonist, right? Is that what? <laughs> yes. I'll start dropping vendor. <laughs> there we go. So tell me, what would you tell your younger self, you know, now that you have had 20 years of experience in the apartment industry? Okay. So this is something that I learned not too long ago, <laughs> but you know how I mentioned I'm a woohoo girl. Yes. You know, there's a lot of woohoo inside of us all. And yes. if you are working with people or working for someone who's taking the woo out of your woohoo, yeah. like you need to figure out a way to move on or, you know, have that tough conversation if that's what it takes, because there are so many wonderful opportunities for you to bring your special, you know, woohoo, for lack of a better way to say it, mm -hmm. to amazing companies within our industry. And, you know, my younger self probably in certain circumstances put up with things that, you know, it yeah. took a little bit of my woo out of my woohoo and, and I wouldn't do that today. I love the quote said by Mr. Gary V. He says, you should spend more time with those that push you up instead of those that press you down. Oh. And, and that could definitely Perfect. apply to your not having someone take <laughs> your woo who away, you know, finding the right <laughs> culture, you know, and being around, you know, like-minded people is important in your career for sure. Keeps you motivated and happy and everything else. Yes. I mean, there's going to be challenges and there's going to be personality conflicts and things like that are just kind of par for the course or whatever that mm -hmm. golf expression is. Yeah. But there's a certain time where that shouldn't, you know, deflate you, but there is a time. And if that time comes, like Gary said, if they're pushing you down and not pushing you up, mm -hmm. then, you know, it's time to make a change or figure something else out. And yeah. my younger self could have used that advice <laughs> numerous <laughs> times. <laughs> The but I've got my woohoo yes. completely back. Don't you well, worry. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, congratulations. <laughs> and I appreciate that. It's great advice to anyone's younger self. And in this next chapter, hopefully you will have some new advice to your younger self. Maybe, you know, don't go into software sales. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. That's okay. funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. So tell the listeners how to get a hold of you if they want to learn more about your woohooness and yes. all the different places that you're speaking at and, yeah. and, and platforms you're speaking on. Well, I'm excited to share. If you want to go look at, I did a, a fantastic video cast through TLD cast. That's the training, learning, and development group. Okay. And so if you search the TLD cast, it was a little bit about imposter syndrome and I gave some crystal ball predictions for sales, sales training, sales training software that I anticipate coming someday down the line. So I got my crystal ball out for that one. I did speak at the brainstorming conference in 2018 last year. So I think there's possibly some videos circulating about that, or you can reach out to me and I can share with you a little bit about what I talked about in that brainstorming session. And there's also going to be coming soon a trade show makeover podcast that I am featured in and it's about David versus Goliath at trade shows. So that one's really fun and sounds exciting. Yeah, yeah. Like it's about the little guys, us boutique kind of uh, best of breed softwares and, or as an example, competing at trade shows against the giants, but you know, the Goliath. Yeah. So well, really uh, yeah, any, one. any supplier, any company yeah. that is going up against some of the bigger ones and how to, yeah. do, you know, make your splash, if you will. Yeah. And that's industry agnostic. I mean, that's yeah. like any industry. So that one will be coming out hopefully soon. So keep an eye out for that. 
And you can get in touch with me through my company at Stephanie at Leonardo247.com. So it's Leonardo247. Or you could also, you know, just reach out to me. I'm on LinkedIn at Stephanie Smith Ayler. It's O E H L E R. So it doesn't <laughs> sound like it's spelled. <laughs> yes. And I am super responsive on, you know, Twitter and, and LinkedIn and all of that. And my Twitter handle is at Stephanie Ayler as well. So we'd awesome. love to hear from anybody and connect and talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about. I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Thank you, Stephanie, so much for being a guest and, and sharing your advice to your younger self. I really appreciate that and appreciate your time and allowing me to interview you today. Thank you so much, Kimberly. And listeners, remember to hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel, iTunes, Anchor, Amazon Alexa. Plus, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And until next week, stay positive and remember sharing is caring.